From this video, we'll discuss and create a new amazing course of this channel and that is how to create single page headless application using React Setup and for API calls, how to use WordPress. So this is our very first video. So inside this video, we'll discuss all about the basic requirements, all about the basic syllabus and also we'll see a complete demo that we have to create a complete project inside this entire course. Before going further, I only request you to please hit the like button to give us a thumbs up to this interesting course and please do subscribe so that I will be creating such type of amazing and interesting courses for you. So first thing first, this will be a complete course to create a single page headless application using React Setup as well as for API calls, we'll use WordPress APIs. So before discussing further, let's see a demonstration of our project here so that we'll have some idea that what type of project we'll create inside this entire course. Let's go back to browser. So we can see that here we have a layout and this layout is built in React application. We can see that here we have a tabular format which is some kind of a post table and this post table is containing a single data called hello world. Also we can see that here we have some action buttons that is add post. If I click now we can see that here we have a model which is have some form elements like a title like post title, post category, post content, featured image as well as status. So it is some kind of form by the help of that form by using our WordPress REST API call, we'll save this data to a WordPress post module. Let's cancel here. Now also we can see that here inside this tabular format, right now we have only a single post and here we have two action buttons that is called edit and delete. So when I press on edit, now we can see that it is fetching the existing data and on the basis of that we can update any existing values and from here after click we can update the existing informations and once we click on this delete it is asking for deleting this post if i press ok automatically it will delete and when i press cancel no activity will happen so once we create any data, once we update any data, once we delete any data, all these operations entirely connected with this WordPress setup by means of API calls. If I go into this post menu, and now you can see that inside this WordPress setup, here we have a single post called Hello World. Let's create a dummy post inside this WordPress setup. So I will click on this add new post, then I will go into this add new post. Now here we can see that it is asking for title. This is post title, post content area. And here we have some attributes of post. So this is the user interface to create any post from WordPress. So what basically I will do, I will create one more post here. So let's call it as welcome post to for dummy content. Here we have some extension I have installed. So I will copy this dummy content. Let's paste here. Then I will go into this post tab. So let's set some featured image like a banner image for this post. Click on this button. And from this media library, let's select this one image. Click on set featured image. Then I will go into this status. Click on draft. So I want that this should be in published mode. Click here. And then I will go, let's create a new category. So add new category instead. Let's pass, let's say laptops. Click on this add new category button. So successfully we can see that here we have new category. Click on publish, publish. Now successfully one more post we have created inside this WordPress setup. So if I go into this application, let's reload. And now we can see that here we have two posts. First one is hello world and second welcome post to. It means by using our list post API, I have listed all the WordPress post what we have created to this React application. Now let's do some update from here. So click on this edit button. Now instead of publish, I will select this draft and from here I have a button called update. Let's click on this update button. So successfully post has been updated and now we can see that now this post has been moved from publish state to draft state. If I go and reload and now we can see that now we are getting our post welcome post to into draft mode. It's really, really amazing. Let's go again here. So I want to set some featured media image for this hello world. Click on edit button. 
click on this choose file let's say that i want to select this image for this hello world post click on open image has been selected and also i want that i want to update this title let's say update it and also i want to like select some different category let's say laptops click on update now successfully on the basis of updated informations now it has updated information to wordpress if i go and reload and now you can see that it has updated if i go and click on this edit button and now we can see that inside this hello world also we are getting our featured media image what basically we have set from this application let's create a new post from this react application click on add post and here i will call it as welcome post let's say three here select category i will select laptops for dummy content i will go here let's select this dummy content i will paste here let's remove some thing from here let's choose a file and if i don't here click on publish select here so as you know that we didn't submit any featured media image so automatically here we have a default image for this welcome post tree and it is in published mode and category equals to laptops let's go inside our wordpress setup so we can see that welcome post tree so automatically if i go again click on this edit button let's set a different featured media image click here so i will select this one click on update now successfully the post has been updated to this featured media now let's say that i am not interested to see this welcome post to i want to delete click on this delete button it is asking for confirmation click on ok and successfully it has removed this post from this application and also it has removed that post from this draft to our track section we can see here if i go and this is falcon post 2 so this is the complete application what basically we create inside this complete playlist inside this complete course now this is the combination of working principles of react application as well as wordpress api calls let's go back to our slide so here as we have discussed that inside this complete course complete playlist videos will create a single page helpless application using react setup as well as wordpress api calls so if i talk about the complete points or the points that what basically we have to cover inside this entire course so first we'll see the concept of setup installations it means first thing first we want two setup installations first will be our react setup and second will be wordpress setup then after that we'll discuss some basic concept of react application so that after getting some basic idea then we have to go and consume our wordpress rest apis to create this headless application but also we have to discuss all about the wordpress apis that what are their endpoints and what is the basic principle to use those apis according to their parameters but also we have to create some layout like a create layout like list layout the deep layout and much more what we have seen inside our prosac demo then we have to go and use our wordpress apis for all these operations like for create functionality read functionality update functionality and delete functionality and one more thing if suppose in your mind if any question about react application that what is the concept what is the syllabus for react application that will cover inside this entire course so if we talk about so inside this basics concept of react application to create a single page headless application we have to cover much more things from starting for example first we'll do setup installation i will prefer using v tool by using v tool first we have to set up a react application then we'll go from its files and folders structure also we'll understand about execution flow the basic rule about index.html main.jsx file and app.jsx file after that we'll cover the basics like basics idea of components how basically we can use and utilize and what is the importance of components inside react application then we'll discuss about the basic concept of properties which stands for props then we'll see the concept of creating layouts like crud based layout for create functionality list functionality edit functionality so much we'll discuss inside this layouts 
then also we'll see about the concept of state management and these states management will do by using hooks so if you talk about hooks so we'll use use a state and use effect and obviously it is interconnected with wordpress so that's why also we have to use huge amount of or the lots amount of api calls for all these cloud operations so overall inside this entire course we have to learn much more things to create a single page headless application now let's meet to next amazing video so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day